Hey everyone, this year is John Meyer. I'd like to welcome you once again to the Tech Review Cast. Okay, so today we have Apple's brand new Magic Mouse. Uh, this just came out a few days ago, and we have it right here to unpack and review for all you guys. So we just picked this up at a local Apple store nearby. Uh, it was $69. But um, before we get started, let me just mention, it's included with every new iMac. So if you're buying a new iMac, or if you plan on buying it, don't bother buying this in the future. Uh, it's going to come with it for free, no extra charge. And it is the wireless mouse. Uh, there is no wired mouse. So let's get started with the unpacking. So right here we have just a small tab. We just got to pull it. There we go. That's it. Should be able to open it right up. Oh, there's just one more tab right on the side just for the barcode. Alright, there we go. And that's it right here. It's really, really smooth and sleek design. And of course, we have the aluminum right on the sides. Uh, Apple logo, all polycarbonate on the top. And then it seems like it's held on with this little plastic platform. Uh, just this little tab we need to take it off. Alright, so now the Magic Mouse is free from the platform. In the box we have a few more things. Looks just uh, like a quick start guide. It says Magic Mouse on the front. Uh, second, we have just a certification card. And then for the last thing, we have a limited warranty packet. It's all really, really small. Uh, there's no Apple stickers though. Um, this will work with... You don't need Snow Leopard for this, so you can use Leopard if you still have that. I believe it will work if you're running on Boot Camp for Windows, but I don't think you'll be able to use the multi-touch features. So if you have a Windows uh, operating system with Boot Camp on the Mac, this will definitely work with their latest drivers. I just highly doubt that it'll work with the multi-touch gestures. Um, you don't need Snow Leopard once again. You can do this on Leopard. Um, for Snow Leopard though, the only thing that's different is that um, Apple has this momentum feature with this. And I'll show you that with the actual review on the screencast later. But it allows you, if you ever had an iPhone and you're scrolling in Safari, you can see that even after you lift your finger off, the page still keeps moving. So it's a little bit more realistic. And that's what they used to bring this technology to the Mac with the Magic Mouse. So that's the only thing you won't get if you have Leopard and don't have Snow Leopard. Other than that, you have everything that comes with the Magic Mouse. So here it is right here. It includes two AA batteries for free. It's already inside, so you're all ready to go. Um, if we open up, you can probably see it. It's a really, really nice design, even on the back. Oh, let's see. Oh, okay, there we go. You just gotta push it forward. Uh, this whole platform will just come right out. And the two batteries are just right there. So you're all set. Alright, so let's just look at the back of it. Right there you have the laser tracking engine. That allows it, of course, to sense where it's moving. And then right there you have the power on and off switch. And down there is what we just used. That's the uh, switch to open and close the latch. So on both sides you have these two rubber feet, which allow it to smoothly move across pretty much any surface. You don't even need a mouse pad. Um, it actually feels like, if you feel the top of, let's see, a black MacBook, that's what it feels like. Other than that, it's a really, really nice design. Alright, so let's just go over the features that come with this Magic Mouse. So, first of all, you need a Bluetooth-enabled Mac computer. Of course, this mouse is Bluetooth. Um, they don't even sell a mouse that's wired. Uh, Magic Mouse. So they're trying to bring that to the standard today. You do need an existing keyboard and mouse for the setup. Um, I do believe it'll work if you are just installing your operating system. But um, if you already have your system up and running, you do need an existing mouse to get it started. So this is a mouse that will track using this laser tracking engine. Um, pretty much any type of surface. Like I said, you don't need a mouse pad. But there's five main features to this mouse. First of all, it's the standard click function that you have. 
been around for over 20 years. So you can click left and right, left and right click. The second is a two button click. So you have the first one and it knows if you're on the left or right side, even if you have multiple fingers on it. Um, this, however, unlike the Mighty Mouse, which had the two buttons on the side, so you can use something like Expose. This, however, does not have that. So that's just one major downside to this. One other thing that this does not have is the button in the middle. Like the Mighty Mouse, it had the scroll ball in the middle. It also acted as an additional button, so you can access something like Dashboard. This doesn't have that either, so that's a second downside. Um, the third major function of this mouse would be the 360 degree scrolling, um, all multi-touch. So you can use your finger to scroll 360 degrees. Um, an example would be in Safari. If it's a web page, or like a long, uh, wide web page like the New York Times, if you're scrolling, you can just scroll all around, even if the web page is small, however size the window is. Another feature that you have is screen zoom. So for the screen zoom, you can use your finger to zoom in and out while holding the control button on the keyboard. This doesn't, however, have a uh, like the feature on the iPhone and iPod Touch. You can use the two fingers to swipe in and out. I'm pretty surprised at that because it seems like it could be really possible to do that. And the last but probably my favorite feature would have to be the two finger swipe. This is really, really helpful. So let's say you're an iPhoto and you want to swipe between you can just swipe between your two photos by swiping your fingers back and forth. I'll demonstrate all this to you in a second on the computer. We'll get it connected and we'll see how it works.